Breakups are never easy, especially if it's a long-term relationship. Sometimes you don't know if it's the correct decision or not. Trust me, I've been there. After all, you have feelings towards that person, maybe even created a codependency. However, there are some clear signs where you should consider that feeling of breaking up. What are those signs? Find out in today's Shaggy's Ideas. So before I start the signs that you should consider, I just want to let you know that you are very strong. You are going through something that's very hard and you are worth it, right? I just want to point that out there. Yes, it's going to hurt. If breaking up is something that is going to happen, you're thinking of doing, etc. It's going to hurt, but it will get better in the long run. I believe in you. you got to believe in yourself. Be strong. I know personally how hard it is to break up, to be broken up, all of those. I've been on both sides of the coin and it hurts. I just want to let you know that you could do this. Whatever happens, you got this. It's not the end of the world, even though it feels like it. So starting off with the tips, what are these signs that you should consider breaking up? Sign number one is that you no longer see yourself having a life with your significant other. What do I mean? Do you not see them being the mother or father of your children? Do you not see yourself marrying that person? Would you like this person as they are right now to be your wife or husband? Would you like to spend the rest of your life with them considering the circumstances right now? Don't look at what you want from them, their potential. What are they now? Do you see a future with them? Yes or no? Do you see them by your side? Analyze the good and the bad circumstances that have been happening. And you gotta find the answer for yourself. I can't tell you, hey, break up. But you gotta find out, do you see yourself with this person 10 years from now? So that's the first one, something that I've been guilty of. If you no longer see yourself with that person, break up. End it right there. Don't drag it out for you or for the other person. It's okay if you need some time to make sure, but don't drag it out. Sign number two, are bad times created more often than good times? And why are they created? Is it over some small little details? Are you too clashing hard for any little thing? How often do these bad things happen? How large are these bad things? How small are they? Are big discussions happening over very small things? Does the bad outweigh the good? Are these issues fixable? These arguments? Are you two clashing in ideals? And importantly, is the weight of the relationship sucking your life energy away? If it is, maybe it's time to move on. Number three, we're going to the nasty one here. You found out they've been cheating on you. Look, let's be real here. Cheating is an ugly topic and it's an ugly thing to do no matter the circumstances. The way I see it, it's one thing that they confess to you and another one completely if they do it secretly and then you find out. Why? Because if they confess to you, they're being straight up with you, right? Why confess? At least that's how I see it. Doesn't mean that you have to stay with him even if he confess. Heck no, that's your decision. But if you found out and they've been doing it secretly, who knows for how long they've been doing it. They've been doing it for a while. If you found out, it's probably because they've done it multiple times, most likely, and you just barely found out. Are they suddenly sorry after you found out? And before that, they were acting just fine? Did you find out they were cheating for a while now? Most likely, they're not sorry they cheated. They're sorry you found out. I know that's some hard truth to swallow, but I'm just pointing it out there. Most likely, you do what you want, but I feel like it's a clear sign that maybe you should consider breaking that attachment. Number four, constant lies. They say they are doing something and you find out they were doing something else. They ask you for money and they don't use it for what they said they were gonna use it. They say they were with this person, but you found out they were with this other person. What's the point of being with somebody if you can't even trust their words? 
Trust is the foundation of a healthy relationship. If they are constantly lying to you, it really doesn't show trust towards you. And how can you trust that? Why trust them? Why be with them? No trust equals no healthy relationship, honestly. And this applies not just in romantic relationship, but also friends. Number five, toxic behavior. And I don't think I need to explain this in detail really, but anything from anger issues, blaming you for their shitty attitude, manipulation tactics, extreme jealousy, disrespect, screaming at you, abusive behavior. What else do you want? You know what's toxic behavior, right? And if you don't, you could just Google it, I guess. But things like that in that nature, controlling, manipulative, disrespect. Here's the thing, you probably know what you want or at least have an idea of what you want from a relationship. If he or she is giving you everything you don't want from a relationship, they're not the one. Get out of the toxic relationship, honestly or it will get worse. I mean, in some cases it gets better, but if there's disrespect now, why is there not gonna be disrespect a year later? Uh, if there's screaming at you, if they're lying to you, if they cheated on you, these things could easily happen again. It's up to you to decide what you wanna do in your relationship. So get out before it gets worse. After all, you don't wanna act like this when she gets home. She's here. I know breakups are a very hard topic to talk about. It's something that none of us really wanna go through, but sometimes we have to. Sometimes you gotta make the decision. Sometimes you have to do it for your own sanity, for your own well being. You know, just do what you think is right and keep pushing forward, even if it hurts. I know you could do this. If you enjoyed this video, even though it's a very hard topic to talk about, and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and drop me one of these. It really lets me know that you like content like this. And check out any other videos on the screen for more self-improvement. I'll see you in the next Shaggy's Ideas.